Hi there. Hi, Mika. Welcome, everyone. How is everyone doing? <laughs> Hi. How are Good you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I like your picture. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Isn't it you nice? Have, you have a plant and I have hanging area one back there. <laughs> Just much by coincidence. <laughs> I know. I love plants, especially if we that teach remotely. Uh, we need plants. Uh, we, we are at home like all day. It gives us more like a, a nicer touch to the place and to the setting, right? Yes. Hi, Rafiana. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Welcome to our fun class. So let's see. Today the idea is to play some games, to have fun, and of course we are going to record and share this video with everyone in case you didn't have the chance today. But we'll see how to play games online uh, for our students and for teachers who also want to, to have fun in class. So this is for anyone who wants to join and see a bit more of how we do it, how, we, how, how can we make a uh, a very nice creative class. Um, forget about the stress of just learning, but enjoy it, right? Exactly, Mika. And I think that what we want to show here is that we can make really simple things that still gamify our lessons, bring some fun, some joy, some smiles on everyone's face. <laughs> yeah? Right. That's cool. Um, it's cool. It's going to be cool. So in the meantime, we are going to invite you all to play some games, but Mika and I, we're going to have fun at the same time, we're going to play. And I think the topic we chose, we, uh, you will like it a lot. So let's see, according to what you voted, many of you like movies and TV series. So everything's going to go around that. So I really hope you like it, yes? So let's see. Shall we start playing yes. any game? Yeah, I let's one. jump in. Hello to everyone who's joining. So let's see, we can break the ice. Yes, let's turn all this on fire, as we would say, in a discussion. But first of all, we are going to introduce ourselves. But we are going to do with emojis. Yes, so this is good because everybody can do it. While we do it, you can send us your emojis. What emojis represent you best, people? So let's try. We can send some. Let's see. Which emojis represent you, Mika? <laughs> I'm going to post them on the chat. And you guys are going to have to guess. Yes, we are going to use the chat a lot today, people. <laughs> let's see. So this is something that may happen. If we are slow finding emojis, don't worry, this is part of the game too. <laughs> to have the emojis ready. Let's see. And to reflect upon your likes and dislikes. Yeah. Don't you feel that they change? Right? Like last year I, I would uh, say my, my likes and preferences have changed. So right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It it depends. We, we are not static, right? So it varies a lot. So <laughs> there goes my emojis. You will see a little plane, the world, candy, and some pair of trainers. Candy? <laughs> Can you expand candy. on that, Mika? Why candy? Yes. Everywhere I travel, I want to have candies. Is I think sweets is part of what represent people. Uh, for example, sometimes you may find spicy candies. I don't know, in Mexico, for instance. So I think it's very connected to, to the culture. And I, I really enjoy traveling, eating traditional food. But I think candies are things that I can also bring with me back home. So I, I appreciate the <laughs> sweet things uh, around. And well, the shoes, I like walking, walking around, visiting places. Um, well, what, are, what about you? I'll just post it, some emojis over there. Um, as you can see, I love wine tasting. 
a lot. So yeah, that's me. And Vietnamese food. So I love a good Vietnamese bowl. Um, and traveling, as you said. But as opposed to candies, I like, like going to supermarkets and, you know, exploring supermarkets. Uh, yeah, I like that a lot. I think we lost you, Mika. Ah, no problem. Here you are again. But yeah, cool. Hi, sorry, I had a technical problem with the internet just disappearing back. It's normal, right? When we are working online. Yes, yeah. we should be ready for everything. Uh, I could hear, but with a delay that you like supermarkets and exploring, all that. Yeah, I need to go to supermarkets when I visit a new city or a new country, you know? Mm -hmm. I think it, they show very accurately how people live, uh, yeah, what they eat and uh, that sort of thing. Yeah. True. And they are very yeah. different. How the, the packaging can be very interesting too, of the food, the yeah. things they, they offer, how they offer, and uh, I don't know. And the went... amount of certain yes. food. For example, Variety. I remember in France, there were like many, many like um, aisles of uh, cheese, different cheese, like seven or something. For me, that was scandalous, you know, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I've never seen something like that heaven before. For me, <laughs> that would you be know? heaven for me. I love, I love cheese, so uh, I can now know a better experience. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Great. Awesome. So shall we jump in the cinema part? I think uh, sure. we are waiting for it. that. Yes. So our yeah. next game is called This or That. Yes. So you need to choose what you prefer. And for this game, it's good to use expressions like I like, I prefer, I rather, I mean to, or I choose. So I, we will ask you to vote. What do you prefer, people? For example, the first one will be, do you prefer going to the cinema or watching Netflix at home? So what do you prefer, Mika? Let's just start with this. Ah, oh, that's a hard one because I like going to the cinema a lot, but it depends. I would say that for movies, like really good movies, I like the cinema. But yes. for, yeah, for series, I prefer uh, Netflix or other streaming platforms. But yeah. Right. I, <laughs> I totally agree. If the movies have special effects that we can enjoy on the big screen, I definitely go to the cinema if I have the chance. Otherwise, I'd rather stay at home, right? With, I, can, I like popcorns and I have a special popcorn pot, so I make popcorn myself. Uh, I used to go to the cinema just for popcorn before, but not anymore. Like I, I independently, let's say I'm independent of popcorn now. <laughs> I can just oh. cook it. Do you like popcorn? I do, but it's not my thing. I prefer probably chocolate bars or something yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> chocolate, like chocolate, for person. sure. <laughs> uh, I also like M&Ms, for example. You know, little mm. little chocolates they send mm. you in the, in the cinema, but uh, I rather have popcorn. Uh, well, that's our first one. We can probably move on to another one. Would you like to to say one, Mika? Um, yes. Would you go for comedy or romance? Which genre do you prefer? Uh, that's very difficult uh, <laughs> because I like both. <laughs> I actually just enjoy all the genres, like from horror to romance, I can watch any of them, but it de depends on my mood. If I'm on my romantic mood, I can watch a romance movie. If I just want to have fun and forget about everything, I probably would go for comedy. <laughs> and you? I, I go for suspense, uh, for suspense, sorry, for <laughs> comedy. I, yeah, I like comedy. Um, yeah, romance, 
I don't know. It tends to be depressing for me at times. <laughs> Well, depends which romance. I'm the kind of Pride and Prejudice romance, for example. Yeah. But yeah, they it's, say it's boring. <laughs> it's a <the> style, right? <laughs> uh, oh, I've got, I've got another one. That I, I, it's fun. Brad Pitt or Leo DiCaprio? Ah, I'm definitely <laughs> Leo DiCaprio's team. Like forever. Yeah? In love with DiCaprio. Yes. I, I think... Brad Pitt is cute, but not enough for me. <laughs> I, I would go for DiCaprio always. And I think he has amazing films. So everything. I think he's complete. And you? Uh, okay. Good. For me, that's a hard choice. I really like <laughs> Brad Pitt's movies. Uh, I think he's... Uh, well, he always does sort of the same characters. <laughs> He always yes. does Brad Pitt, right? But he's the so cute good. face. <laughs> I love him. He's so good. He I mean, is. he's cute, but I think he's better as an actor as, you know, than his looks, maybe. Right. Uh, True. I, I think both of them are really good. Uh, they're iconic nowadays in the yeah. Hollywood world. But I think on if, if we are talking about appearances, I like the caviar. <laughs> yeah, More. DiCaprio is something else too. Yeah, I don't know. Fix <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. But well, in a Indeed. in another reality, I'd rather be with DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, he's awesome. DiCaprio, mm -hmm. one of the best. Daniela, she's with me. <laughs> I totally agree. And my favorite movie is Inception. For example, I don't know oh. if you know it. Uh, if you ever seen it, and I, for me, it's great. He 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 nails it in that movie. You know, Inception. Fun enough. I started it like three times, but I never <laughs> managed to finish it for some reason. <laughs> but it's on my list. I have to finish it. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's a tough movie. It can be hard to follow. Eh? It's it's many people's favorite actually. Right? So. But, but I don't know. It depends. It depends on, on what kind of movies uh, you, you may like. Exactly. Yeah. I love sci-fi, actually. It's one of my favorite genres. Oh. Is sci-fi. Yes, a lot. Especially those who have this kind of thriller or suspense about the unconscious, the dreams. I really love that, that topic for movies oh. or TV series. Wow. I'm not that into sci-fi, <laughs> but yeah, I find it interesting and creative, most of them. It's mind-blowing. Yeah, and about suspense and horror, which one do you like? Suspense or horror? I think I'd rather go with suspense. To, I like to imagine what may happen rather than just seeing or oh, these gore things, I'm not into that. I would always prefer good suspense, classic ones. I cannot think of any example right now, but definitely suspense. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, suspense too. I'm not into horror movies at all. I mean, I don't like them. Uh, yeah, and as you said, I like those films that keep you at the edge of the seat, you know? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's amazing. And now I'm thinking of, we, we're talking about films and for, for the people who, who have just joined, we're talking about films, actors, and mm -hmm. cinema related. And if you could tell me, Nika, or, or anyone in the audience, a movie that stands the taste of time would which one could it be? For me, it's Pulp Fiction, for example. Wow. It's a masterpiece. Yes, I think it, that's the best answer. I cannot <laughs> disagree this time. I totally agree with you. Tarantino, this movie is by Tarantino. I think he's amazing. Wow. Uh, amazing director. Uh, Pulp Fiction just... It marked a turning point in the history of cinema, I think, with all this... Yeah. Uh, 
going back and forth in time in the story. Like you never know when the story is taking place. Uh, again, I think this this is interesting. It's not one genre movie. It's many things at the same time. I think it's so complex. I totally agree with you right, on this one. Tarantino is so so. He's a so mastermind. I I just remember uh, another one by him is uh, Kill Bill. Yes, oh, classic. It's also I something. Think... That's the first movie I saw by Tarantino. And then I was, wow, what is this kind of comics in the middle? And then this super empowered woman, uh, I don't know, yeah. taking control of everything. Uh, I think the stories are great. And something I really like, and I always pay attention to this movie, the, the roles of, of women, right? How they, how they are portrayed in the films. And basically, most of Tarantino's movies, women tend to be very important, like a key role in the story. And I really enjoy that. And I appreciate that kind, that kind of stories also. Yeah, yeah, that's something, yeah, good to, to, to you know, to look mm -hmm. at also when, when analyzing this kind of things on movies. Um, yeah, I think the, the second is my favorite, I mean, of the Kill Bill. Mm -hmm. uh, series is so amazing. I yeah, I yeah, it's one of my favorites. I think. So. But sure, yeah, totally. I cannot think of a better example now that you brought Tarantino. I think he's kind of the best. <laughs> Even yeah. more than my favorite movies, it's just <laughs> he's great. Uh, but well, uh, basically Tarantino. Uh, yeah. He's, also, he's, yeah. One last comment on this. Uh, Wes Anderson is very good as well. Is it a different style? I don't know if you, you've seen his... I don't reckon that yeah. one. Um, Hotel Budapest is one of his... Like, yes, the one everything is kind of pinkish. Exactly. Right? That's yes. him. That's, That's him, him, you know? I mean, all the, um, the films have these excellent photograph thing everything mm. has to be like in in a certain shade of a color uh, mm -hmm. I mean, everything is so aesthetic you know yeah. it's neat mm -hmm. cute neat beautiful yeah i like that he's so aesthetic so it's, nice. it's like a pleasure to watch it let's say exactly. yeah it's, it's, yes yes but and i only put that one yeah, and the stories are good as well. Yes, mm. I think the cast, when, when a, a good movie needs to have a good cast also. I think mm. it's a combo. It's not just uh, the story, you need to have everything well planned uh, for a good movie. But well, it, it, again, it depends on the day or on, the, on people's uh, choice sometimes, what kind of movie. Uh, but well, uh, what do you but think? directors, yes. But directors tend to have like a cast that they always go to, like their favorites, you know. You're right. uh, like Uma Thurman for Tarantino, for example. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's always there, and I like her. Uh, yes. I don't know, uh, but well, I also like Christopher Nolan. He's the director of uh, Inception. So. And he also made a you know, Batman saga. Like, uh, I cannot think the names of all the Batman ones, but uh, he's amazing the way he goes into the stories. The one with the Joker that's so famous, he's the mm. same director. And uh, I also enjoyed that one a lot. It's uh, amazing. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Right. I like the, the, like the themes he touches. like. They are very Them. deep, very profound. Yeah. Yes. So. Um, but well, well, for the people who are joining, we are just talking about our favorite movies uh, that we have like a connection with, let's say. And everything is about films and stars today, right? So, well, what do you think? Shall we ask one more question for people who are here? Yeah. Let's see. Do you yeah. have any go-to films, like 
you watch and rewatch, watch and rewatch, or maybe a series? <laughs> Mm, well, a TV series that I, I'm thinking of is Anne with an E. Uh, oh. It's totally different from Inception, right? And Tarantino, but I really enjoyed uh, Anne with an E. Uh, everything mm -hmm. to watch it was amazing. The landscape, the landscape, I, I think I enjoyed every minute of that. And the story, um, mm -hmm. I really, really like the story of this little girl and to have the feeling that we are growing up with the girl. Uh, along the story, uh, I, I really recommend that one if nobody uh, seen it before. Um, but well, it, it's it's a really nice TV series that you can watch with family also. Uh, yeah, that's, so that's why. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. It's very yeah. very very nice story. Right, and it it deals with so many topics that are also very interesting and varied. They vary the topics a lot. Uh, what about you? Um. Well, I have just finished Billions, um, and I think it's one of the best series. It's quite seri like serious, not serious, but it's about the corporate world and how it works, um. like big corporations, you know, and all these people, how they think, what they do, and wow, it's crazy. But good crazy. I don't know. I like that. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, then you, you mentioned that one. I'm thinking of Anna Delvey. Have you heard of that one? It's based uh, on a real story. Um, and it's, it's, let's say, it's a girl who gets into the, the world of very rich people in the US. But she was oh. kind of a fraud and nobody realized. And she was super young and she's still in jail. And she keeps her Instagram and she keeps uh, yeah, uploading stories and stuff. And it's super interesting to see how she managed. She was an icon in the fashion world, but she was on the time kind of a fraud. But the, the story is good because they leave it open to subjective perspective of how he did, how she did the, the things. And um, uh, so I think it's great if you like uh, mystery and not knowing the answer until the end. Uh, that's, okay. that's a good one. Even until now, because nobody really knows nowadays what really happened um, with the business world in fashion and art in the US. So I think it was very interesting, uh, considering it was based on a, on a real story, too. Yeah. yeah. For the people who are just joining, um, don't worry. We are going to leave all these recommendations when we upload <laughs> the recording. We, right. we are talking about many movies and directors and, you know, so yeah, we'll leave you the list so you can take notes if you want. Yes. So Mika, yeah. uh, imagine that Netflix or any platform, <laughs> streaming platform didn't exist, what would you do? <laughs> I would escape to another reality, basically, <laughs> <laughs> but... If I have to be rational about it, I think it probably would go more often to the cinema, which is something I still love. Uh, mm. Probably old school, watching online, <laughs> trying <laughs> to go to YouTube and trying to do my best, but I would definitely go to the cinema more often. Uh, what about you? Yeah, yeah, I would definitely go to the cinema a little more. And I think I would read more, you know? Right. Because, um, yeah, the films give you that, you know, feeling of escaping reality, as you said. But reading also, like, when you really get into a story, has that, it has that, you know, feeling in the same way. Yes. And I remember when I was a kid, I used to read a lot more. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I remember that. Um, where I was not allowed to, to watch series or, or, or films so much. No. So, oh my. Yeah, my parents were quite strict, you see. Uh, oh. And yeah, I, and I read tons of books. And oh my I God. Wasted. No, yeah. <laughs> but it's great. I yeah, think. I, I wish... Yes, I, I wish I had a chance to read more, actually. If, if I think twice. 
I, I didn't pay attention to books before, as I do now. I like reading right now. But I said, so much time wasted. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> read all, all the books all my friends had already read. Uh, but still, I, I really believe in that, what you say. Books can take you away in a stronger way because it's, it's full imagination that uh, brings you to another area. It's the distraction is, is very strong when reading that way. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's better for the brain too, right? <laughs> yes, totally. It's a lot better. So, but yeah. So... Basically, we would go to the cinema more often and we would read uh, more <laughs> if that happened, right? Yeah, if Netflix or any streaming platform didn't exist, that, mm -hmm. that would be the case. <laughs> For us. Yeah. Then people who is here with us can tell us right now or later what, what would life be like for you if this happened, right? By the way, that mm. would be... I'd like to know. <laughs> I think Netflix is... It's a key part of our lives nowadays. We consider it natural to be there, always on the TV, and, but it wasn't there before. So how would be going back to that for some of us? Or even, I don't know, for these digital natives, people who were born with Netflix already there, probably that would be a, a drastic change too. Yeah, I think it's, it's part of our routine. I was talking with uh, some friends the other day and and we all agreed that at the end of the day we just grab a wine or dinner or something and just go and watch our series. <laughs> That's what we do. We <laughs> yes, uh, and it's great. I really enjoy it. <laughs> so please, right. Netflix, don't ever disappear. <laughs> right. Well, would, would you like to do another question to move on to another game? Yeah, maybe we could go to the emojis, guess the movie game. Right. So we thought about this game to give it a closure. And the idea is send us some emojis that represent a film and we have to guess. So Mika and I were going to try to give it a hint with some movies and let's see if you can guess them. Right. So let me see. Mm. <laughs> this is great. I, I have played this uh, many times in, with my students and some of them were like, oh, they say this is so, so easy. But then other groups said, what is this? I never watched this in my life. So <laughs> the, the variation can be really uh, big. Mm. Let me think. Yeah, it's fun because if you figure it out, it's because you watch it. But sometimes you, you're like, uh, like a long time and it's like, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> we send, <laughs> we send well, people, what movie is this? The clues twice. Can you guess the movie? I think this is, is very easy. Anyone? Especially <laughs> if we are more as the same generation. <laughs> I'm a fan. A hint, I'm a fan of Disney Pixar. I think this is a great clue. <laughs> well, another it's thing is this sweet has... story. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if somebody wants to share a film. <laughs> but well, which film were we thinking about? Shall I say the answer? Yes. Yeah. Uh, guys, by the, by the way, uh, this one, uh, it was prepared by Mika. I don't know the answer, so I'll just try. Is it up, Mika? It is. Oh, <laughs> it is yeah. up. I think that's the most romantic movie ever. Uh, and I really love it. Do, do you like uh, that movie? It's, it's amazing. Yeah, I, I love it. And I also, I'm a big fan of, of Pixar. I love... Um, animation animation movies i think shrek is one of my favorites like mm. i love it <laughs> shrek is so good how how they make fun of fairy tales uh, i think yeah. it's amazing it's it's amazing literally yeah what do you what do you like about shrek i think the story i think the story is 
amazing. And I also like, like, mm -hmm. the, um, how, how do you call it? Like, the, the visual part of the, the characters themselves. I think they are so real, like, yes, like, like, you know, it's so true. It yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. And it's funny. Mm -hmm. The donkey. Goodness, the donkey. <laughs> the donkey is amazing. He's the best. I love the donkey. Yes, <laughs> what he says. And uh, I still have stickers. You know, when I I talk on WhatsApp, I send lots of Shrek stickers. They can they talk a lot with their faces. I totally agree. Um, and yeah. then I sent another movie. This is an important one for me. <laughs> Believe it or not. Let's see if someone can guess. This movie, mm. what do you think? Mm. Let's see, someone in the audience can guess. So, I will explain the emojis in case they are not clear. There's kind of a vampire or Dracula, uh, a kiss, a wolf, and moon, you know? So, <laughs> <laughs> it really represents my teenager period. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what do you think? What is this movie? I think that one got me. No, uh, you don't know? I, uh, no, I don't think I've seen it. Is it sci-fi? No. Mm, no, it's fantastic. Oh, it's, you, have, you have teenagers, you know, going to school, some vampires, very pretty, appear. Then there is a wolf. It's like a whole saga. It started with books and it was a hit back yeah. then. But then I feel is like it had Twilight? No. It is. Oh. <laughs> it is Twilight. <laughs> Have yeah. you seen it? Oh, Robert Pattinson. Of course I've right. seen it. <laughs> right. I love him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's a, I love it. I mean, I'm. Now I feel silly because if I watch it again, it's, oh, I used to like this movie. <laughs> Why? I was such a fan, I cannot explain. Everything was, I had the, the poster, wow. TVs, everything. <laughs> and now I feel kind of ashamed because I'm not a fan anymore <laughs> like that. But yeah. it really marks a period for me. It was such a fun. But I to remember. be honest, yes. Yeah, I remember because I was in college because I'm mm. older than you, obviously. <laughs> I remember that no, I had, yeah, I had a, um, uh, yeah, a friend of mine at the time. She mm -hmm. she loved it, like, as you, like, everything was about it. Like, she was mm -hmm. crazy about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, 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 it I used know. to drive people crazy, so don't worry. I You're know. not the only one. <laughs> No, I know I wasn't, but I don't know why. I don't know why I was crazy about it. Then I, I could get out from it. But what is interesting <laughs> that apart from all this thing, it, it was the first time I started reading just for fun. Remember I said before, I didn't used to read a lot when I was young. But then after watching this movie, it was the first book someone gave to me. And I said, okay, I'm going to start reading. And that was the beginning of the change for me, let's say. So I continue reading yeah. the whole saga. And then many other things, uh, it really marked a point. So apart That's from the something. fact that it probably wasn't so good, I, I think there were many girls like me who just started reading because of something like that. So I, I think uh, that was important because of that change, little change, let's say. I think that something. I think that's mm -hmm. very interesting, especially if, yeah, it, it brought that change, let's say. Yes. And, yeah, that affection towards reading, which is mm -hmm. like, right. important. It was an easy reading, and I think it was good for a teenager to, to start reading. It was a good option, <laughs> for me at least. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. But, well, here we are. Yes, uh, with all the movies, games, and books, and literature, everything is interconnected in some way, right? Yeah, I'm going to send the last clue 
for another movie um <laughs> so many <laughs> faces yeah. let's see if anyone in the audience can guess it is there a story um, the first emoji what is the first emoji Well, uh, if I tell you, if I tell yeah. you that, I will tell you a part of the film already. Um. Well, I'll, I'll give you that hint. So it means ocean. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Even though with the big hints, uh, I cannot think of it. <laughs> I don't know what to move. This one is, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Dani. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Can you guess the movie? Let's see. Oh, internet <laughs> connection. I need her because I don't know this movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll say it out loud before it's, it's too late. Mm -hmm. Ocean's <laughs> Eleven. <sighs> Wait, I'm, it rings a bell. But I don't remember. <laughs> With um, this guy who is really gorgeous as well. Uh, George Clooney? Uh, okay. I'm not George Clooney team, but... Uh, wow. But is Brad Pitt there? I think so, yes. Brad Pitt and um, Matt Damon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Matt Damon yeah. team, forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think he's there, oh, which, yes. I know. Matt Damon is... You know, my demon is so Leonardo DiCaprio. Of course, I love Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah, they are so similar, you know, similar. in some sense. Yeah, like... It's Julia Roberts too, right? The, the, the main... Yes! Julia. It's amazing. Yeah. Ah, she's she's so, so good. Yes, I know. But I've never watched it. <laughs> I know from Zipping, you know, on TV, but never watched the full movie. I should probably. What do you think? You, you recommend should. it? <laughs> yeah, you should. You should definitely. You should. Right. Well, oh, probably fun. you are explaining what we were doing, right? Because then we are going to share this with everyone. It seems like we were just chatting, which is amazing because it just felt like having fun. But we were learning a lot, right, Mika? We were teaching and learning at the same time while having fun uh, and yeah. everything was planned, right? Exactly. We, we all, yeah, what we, we did... Have... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I had a little delay. No, go ahead. It's just a little oh, delay. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. No, yeah, I was saying that... Um, yeah, with very simple um, elements like emojis, these or that questions and options, we still um, could engage each other in conversation for quite a long time. And mm -hmm. the idea is that to, to keep the conversation going, to ask follow-up questions, to always involve the other person, uh, as mm -hmm. you may notice, Every every single time that I made a question, Mika gave her opinion and then she asked me back. So what do mm -hmm. you think? I think this is a very good practice. I mean, when you're teaching a lesson mm -hmm. to always address every single person in the audience, like yeah. ask every one of your students, okay, what do you think? Okay, yeah. and now to the other person, and wh what do you think? <laughs> what do okay. you think? And these sort of, of things I have seen in, in many lessons yeah. and that, that, that makes a difference. And, yes. and people, have all, people always have something to say, like you, you mm -hmm. always have an opinion on things. So I yeah. think it's good as a teacher to, to give that place to people to, to express their ideas. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Interaction, right? Among the students. Because at the end of the day, we are studying a language. It's not just to complete a photocopy full of exercises. It's to really interact, right? And if, if we have the chance to interact like we did sharing literal 
opinion, right? Agreeing or disagreeing in a good way, politely also. Uh, I think then uh, with success, you reach the goal of speaking and communicating, right? In a second language, in our case, that I'm a second language teacher. Um, but at the same time, we, we also consider that if we have fun, if we want, if we have the chance to say what we want, uh, the learning lasts longer. It's not that tomorrow you forget. This will stick, right? It will stay with you for a longer time than if you've just memorized or learned by heart. Uh, that's why we say we organized uh, all the activities. So that there is a thread. The thread today was movies. Everything was about that. Even though we end up talking about so many things, uh, but that's amazing too that we have the space to do it, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's important that the lesson has a connection that there is a connection yeah. between topics, definitely. Sure. That's that's mm -hmm. key. And sometimes we forget this. So <laughs> let's not <laughs> forget this. Yeah, it's, it's so important. I mean, so I, 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 I've seen some lessons where there were so many topics not even related. <laughs> and yeah. So maybe the lesson was about writing, for example, or about, you know, listening, which is fine. But then you need the topics or the stages of the lesson to, to connect, to follow a certain order, to go from easy to more difficult, right. to close-ended <laughs> activities, to yeah. like more open-ended activities in the end. For example, we did the this or that um, activity at the beginning, where you had to choose one option. And if you are working with elementary students, for example, or you know, lower level learners, you c they can just say, you know, Netflix or YouTube, like one single yeah. word answers, but you are still participating. Right, so, even body like cross if you disagree or one hand if one option, two hands for exactly. another one. Exactly, likes, dislikes, yeah. Mm -hmm. They still communicate, it's true. Yeah, um, it's and I really like that. We need icebreak at the beginning, especially if we are seeking in speaking. But little by little, uh, we should find a way of guiding them and not creating a maze, like a, lib a labyrinth for students to get lost. No, the idea is that little by little, we, we get the point that uh, we are going to talk about movies and I have the space to, to say what I like, either movies or actors in the case of today. Um, if we go into detail, we also worked on grammar, conditionals a lot, like what would your, li uh, your life be like? Uh, so we repeat that because probably we don't realize, but we are still learning them, right? Uh, hello, Caro. Good to see you, Caro. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. So. To, to wrap up, um, we, we, you see that we use different gam gamification elements then. We, we had fun, we, we laughed a lot, we used emojis. Yes. We could also do a, like a competition of mm -hmm. um, who, for example, who guesses more games. Right. right? Uh, mm -hmm. I think I won that one. And you lost <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Oh, but you know, <laughs> because I told you the one on Ocean's Eleven, remember? I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm kidding. But you know, you can turn into a, a competition. You, you can do sure. so many things with simple things like emojis. And, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Like, to make it more interesting. Exactly. But well, everything has to make sense. That's, that's the, the point and the starting point, let's say. But, mm -hmm. well, uh, here we are. This was only one game. It was all around movies. Uh, the level can vary a lot. We can always uh, adapt the questions. For example, instead of how would your life be different, we can just ask, what do you prefer, either the cinema or Netflix, or what's your favorite? We can always adapt it to, to lower levels or even higher. Uh, that's on the control of the teacher. And we can always allow students who want to, to go further uh, to answer however they want, right? We, we cannot uh, cut that. Exactly, yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's very nice. Well, guys, we are reaching an end, uh, the end of the, the live today, but we would like you to tell us in the comments if you heard any interesting expressions uh, related to films, series, or the cinema world, you can always leave a comment and tell us. Or if you want to share with us any cool expressions, yes. uh, it would be good to learn <laughs> together. If they want to see something else, if they want to suggest an idea for another time, we are more than welcome to hear that, yes? So thank you everyone for being here today. And thank you, yeah. Mika. Thank you, Mika. Have you have have you had fun? Of course, I couldn't stop really? laughing today. <laughs> I always have that's fun. That's the point. <laughs> well, have a nice rest of your day then. Bye bye. 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 Thank you, everyone.